All right, guys, we have here a 1998 EasyGo TXT 36 volt. And we also have some really, really not so professionally installed batteries. These are three 12 volt batteries. They look like to be AGMs. Possibly, I don't even know. I really don't care because they're not even tied down. They don't have any battery tie downs installed. They're just basically free floating in here. And the customer called and said he couldn't figure out why the cart wasn't moving. Uh, and based on initial inspection, it helps if you tighten down the bolts on the battery. Also, the charging isn't connected properly, and it's just not done right. So this is something that we have to try to straighten out. All right, let me get this. Uh, let me get the camera set up, and we'll kind of go through this. The complaint was with this cart that he couldn't get the cart moving. But I mean, look at this. This. This isn't even tight. This isn't tight. This isn't tight. That's not tight. That's not tight. These are not tight. It baffles the hell out of me how you cannot ensure that your connections are tight. Like, I mean, it also baffles the hell out of me how you can just drop these things in here like this without any proper way of securing them. Because this, if this cart ever had like a kid in it and they were driving around wildly like most kids, some kids have a tendency of doing, this cart is going to dump these batteries over and because they're sealed AGM batteries, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're AGMs, I don't even know. I don't really care either, but nonetheless, uh, you dump the cart over, these batteries are going to put a strain on the electrical system and if they short out, you're going to have full current from the battery pack dumping into a, a dead short. You're going to melt things and set stuff on fire. You're going to, it's going to end very badly, and it usually does. I've seen it before, and it is not a good thing. So, yeah, that's kind of just, it's just not smart to do this. If you want to put this kind of setup in, that's fine. You know, it's not the right way to do it, and people are going away from 12 volt batteries to, you know, 6 or 8 volt batteries because of the cost and the amp hour rating you know amp hours go up the more batteries you add as long as you do them in series or i'm sorry as long as you do them in parallel your amp hours are going to go up but the amp, that nonetheless that we'll get into that discussion at another time that's going to be a whole topic for another video amp hours and watt hours and voltages and battery capacities and whatnot but this setup here i mean these are just flopping around they're not anchored in these he's put some two by sixes and two by eights in here as a platform sat the batteries on top of those and called it a day. That is not correct. Nonetheless, I'm going to try to get it running for them. It works. The cart drives. It's just that nothing was connected properly. So we're going to clean up these terminals and kind of get this stuff working a little better and make sure everything is tight and properly secured. Or at least the connections. I can't tie the batteries down. Get the angle, the die grinder here. And just kind of clean up some of these connections real quick because they are a bit dirty. I'm going to do this. We're going to do it somewhat right, at least as right as we can. So, warning, loud noises. Here's the voltage reducer, charger, and then the cart. So we'll get that started here. I'm putting a flat washer on here to help crush the connection down tighter. Cart is also in tow. I do have some flat washers that we're going to be installing in places where they need to be. Reducer, charger, and cart. So now the other thing to keep in mind
The golf cart charger is not designed or, I mean, it's fully capable of charging these, but it's not going to charge them correctly. AGMs have a little bit different charging cycle and voltage, you know, float voltage and all that stuff compared to flood, flooded lead acid batteries. So he may run into some issues with this, but I don't know. I, uh, I didn't suggest this. This was all on his own volition. So batteries are hooked up. Lights are working. I just have to change that headlight switch because it is kind of flaky. the headlight switch for the moment so I can get the, the switch out yeah so it's all floppy we're just gonna change it we're just gonna step this up a little I don't think you gotta remember what step bits are not careful with them they will wildly go out of control and they will drill a giant hole on you I like step bits I just wish the steps were a little taller on this one I think it would make it that much better. All right, so that's that. We're basically done with the little things now. I just got to see if this tire on the front will hold air, and we'll this will be done. The tire rolled off the bead here. All I do is jack them up and give them a nice strong blast of air with the air compressor and usually they seat. I've been using these little battery powered um, pressure gauges. They seem to be working pretty good. Sometimes this works. I just don't like these really short. There it goes. These really short valve stems and these stupid ass hubcaps sometimes make this difficult. I usually go to 20. Just due to how the carts are driven. 19.7, close enough. Now I'll go around all the tires and check them out. All right guys, cart is out of here. I took it for a test drive. I got it back up on the trailer. I'm really happy with what it is, that the way it turned out. So we're gonna just leave it at that. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. We're gonna stare at the the garage floor for a moment while I close out this video. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Be sure to check the video's description for links to products I use every single day to bring you these videos and to run my business. And also don't forget to check out my links to my website and Facebook page and all the other social media outlets. If you have any questions on this particular project or any other project, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right guys, until next time and as always, we will see you in the next video.